Here it is, my 2005 Generation 2 Toyota Prius. Voted number one by catalytic converter thieves the world over. I've been fortunate and haven't been hit yet. And I want to keep it that way with this $160 CCM CAT security. My Prius is worth about $3,000, so if it costs $2,000 to $3,000 to replace a stolen cat, I'd have to make a tough decision. Like all products, there's always a way to make things better. And these mods and hacks will work for non-Prius versions too. Better, stronger, faster. I don't want to give away too much because you never know who's watching. So open your mind and use your imagination on this video and how to improve it even more. In addition, I have absolutely no scientific data showing that these changes will improve anything. Who knows, it might make things worse. So watch till the end and you be the judge. If the cat thieves want your catalytic converter badly enough, they're gonna get it. All you can do is reduce the risk. The more obstacles you throw at them, the longer it will take to get ripped off. They'll go to the next car if they think it's too hard. Or you can be saving another car because it takes so long to rip your car off. See how nice I am? So let's start with stronger. The easiest thing you could do is to add more screws, rivets, and bolts. The more you add, the stronger it is. They'll have a more difficult time prying it off. Second thing is to mask the screws with something like high quality aluminum tape which makes it harder for them to find the screws. Number three, cover the screws with tar. You can do this before or after the tape. So if they try to cut the screws off, it will be a bit messy and more difficult to find. But be careful where you put the tar because it may melt in hot spots and cause a smelly mess. So experiment first. And finally, I've tied two wires to be extra support for the shield. It makes it stronger and adds another few seconds of work to remove, assuming they have a wire cutter. So how do we make it faster? Well, use your imagination. And look at this aerodynamic golf ball surrounded by dimples. The more aerodynamic, the faster and farther you can go. Well. We're going to simulate these dimples by adding bumps to the cat shield. In addition, these bumps are going to double up as heat sinks and cool the exhaust system more efficiently. So we're going to install these screws to the bottom side. You could put as many as you want, but the more the better. You want to space them at least one inch apart evenly, yet randomly, and try not to get them too close. You need to get the sharpest screws possible, since the sharper they are, the more heat they'll absorb or release. I'm using half inch screws, but you can use different sizes. It's up to you. The main concern is that you don't hit any vital parts such as the O2 sensor and various tubes and cables. So be very careful. You can always add more screws after the shield has been installed. Now we're doing the reverse, having the screws on the outside. For this, the screw is a cooling fin and you have to plan because once the shield is installed, it would be difficult to add more. Again, I'm using the same half inch screws. I don't install that many because I'm worried about the ground clearance. I don't want the screws to be scraped off but at least I don't need to worry much about hitting vital parts of the car since the head of the screw is rounded. As you can see, I've taped it up so I don't get accidentally injured during installation. The one thing I forgot to do was show how to spray paint the screws black. Darker colors absorb heat better 
and therefore cools the shield off more efficiently. So that's it. What do you think? Is my modified catalytic converter shield better, stronger, and faster? Like, subscribe, and hit notify. Thank you for watching.